Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough video from the Scarlet Keys uh, campaign playthrough uh, with Kuman and Jones. Uh, last time we played the scenario on thin ice in Anchorage and uh, we got four experience from that scenario and together with the one experience from the previous scenario we had five. So let's first look what upgrades I did to Kumani's deck. So let's hop over to Arkham cdb.com okay and we are over on arkham cdb.com and uh, i had five experience so i decided to make easy upgrades this time um, because i'm uh, using chuck fergus i wanted to upgrade some of my uh, trick card or tactic or trick card so backstab uh, level three this is a really powerful card to have uh, if we succeed by enough we can get this uh, damage dealing card back into our hand and possibly play it cheaper uh, with uh, Chuck Fergus so we should have resources to play it multiple times and this deals three damage so it should deal uh, multiple of different enemies then uh, I upgraded breaking and entering to level 2. Uh, same thing here, uh, we are investigating with high uh, agility, so we should be able to uh, play this free or fast if we have a lot of resources with Chuck Fergus and uh, get this card back into our hand if we succeed by uh, three or more. So uh, again, recursion, that's really good for the deck because we only have one copy of each card. And of course I removed the level 0 versions of those cards. But those are all the upgrades. So let's back, up, back over to the map. Okay, and uh, we start from Anchorage. First thing we did was to travel to San Francisco. There, uh, nothing much happened. We only got the second version of the uh, quid pro quo uh, event. And because we were at uh, San Francisco, uh, we know Amaranth's real name. So we haven't met Amaranth yet, but I think we might end up meeting her later on in the campaign, possibly. Uh, after that, we just continued to, uh, to Havana so we are now here and we will play the dancing mad scenario so that is the club trotting done for this round or, or this uh, time and uh, just to remind we have spent 15 time out of the uh, 34 we have to spend and uh, we got one trigger which added a cultist token into our bag at uh, 15 times spent so there is that but that is everything uh, let's just start playing so let's get started okay and we are ready to begin uh, playing the dancing mad scenario uh, we arrived to Havana in time to get the setup one version of uh, the setup. There are two different setups. If you haven't spent 20 time yet, you will do the uh, setup one. And I think if you have gone past 20 time, you will do the setup two. But uh, setup one means that we we have uh, the same agenda either way. First thing we need to do is that uh, we have a Doom Trestle of five. Uh, there is a forced ability. If there are five or more set aside hollows, choose and remove three of them from the game and place one doom on this agenda. This effect may cause the agenda to advance. So we need to be mindful of how many hollows we allow to happen. And then uh, we set up with the uh, uh, false step and false colors uh, version one for this. So we have a resign action. Uh, the deals off, you leave Desi and his crew to their fate. And forced, if Des uh, Desario Delago Alvarez leaves play, set him aside out of play. Each investigator takes one horror and uh, uh, 
we need three clues to advance. Uh, we also start with Desi or Desi Dario Delago Alvarez, and uh, this is because we made a deal with Desi, and uh, we are trying to figure out who are removing his henchmen in Havana. Uh, we, uh, Desi thinks it's maybe a rival gang or something, but we decided to help, and we know better that they they are probably getting uh, disappear or, or remo removed from history basically um, that is b basically everything we start with uh, Cafe Luna and there are two uh, sides for this we start at the Bastion of Remembrance it has five shroud one clue and uh, it has minus one shroud for each outsider enemy in play uh, and there's forced if there are no clues on Cafe Luna add clues to it until it has one clue per investigator so we could basically just farm clues here if possible, but it's a high shroud. But yeah, that's basically everything. Uh, we ended up drawing the Red Glove Man as the coterie enemy that uh, we haven't seen the last of for this play. So hopefully we don't run into him. So let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we reshuffle that okay uh, we have a bunch of stuff to play uh, of course we're keeping the thieves kit intel report might be good i think old keyring and lock picks we don't need at the start i'll keep the trench code that as it is an um, agility boost for evasion uh, or Maybe, maybe not. We'll keep those two and we'll draw three cards. So we get the moon, that's great. And I'll take that and I'm out of here. Well, I'm out of here is not that useful, but it is an agility icon card. So we can resign from anywhere. So we don't need to use the I'm out of here for anything. Okay, just a quick shuffle to the deck and we are ready to go. Of course, we are playing the lockpicks level 3 immediately. So I'm paying 3 for it, adding 3. So we have 6 resources on the, I mean, Thieves kit level 3, not lockpicks. That is our first action. Oh yeah, and the moon comes into play, so we have the moon in play right from the start without paying. And the second action, I think I will just investigate here and I'll commit the I'm out of here for this test. So we are investigating 8 versus 5, so pretty good chances I think, oh yeah, I I think I need to shuffle this into the deck too. Just a moment. And uh, Desi has an ability when an attack from a monster enemy deals damage to the uh, Desi, uh, exhaust him, cancel one of that damage, and deal one damage to the attacking enemy. So if we put damage on him, he will hit the enemies back. At least once per round. Okay, so we are investigating 8 plus 5. And it is a 0. Uh, that means we succeed by 3 or more. So we spent, uh, uh, spent 1, but uh, because we succeeded by 2 or more, we get 2 resources instead of 1 from the Thieves' Kit. And we get this clue. And there is another clue here. Should we dare to try this again? Oh yeah, and uh, uh, I could play this to play the Inter report. Oh no, it's an item asset, not not an event. Okay, I think we will go investigate the rest of the town. So let's move. Uh, hmm, we'll go here. So to Jardines de la Tropical, and it's a three shroud, 
this location with one clue. After you successfully investigate charge the Latrop Tall by three or more, choose and set aside hollow its owner's draw sits. Okay, so we can try to get the hollows back here. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get the uh, upgraded breaking and entering and a resource, so that is good. Well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is uh, Paradigm Effacer. Uh, it is a Loof Hunter. Forced after you end your turn at Paradigm Effacer's location, look at the top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, set it aside out of play as a hollow. Then, if you own three or more set aside hollows, Paradigm Effacer attacks you. So it's uh, aloof at this location, so place it over here. Mark it. So at the moment we don't need to worry about it. So what I think is that I will uh, play breaking and entering. So we are investigating seven versus. So I'm paying two for this. So seven versus. Yeah, seven versus three. So we are up by four. So we have good chances. And we get a uh, minus three. So unfortunately, we lose the breaking and entry, but we still get to uh, get the clue and we get to exhaust an enemy. So I'll use my fast ability to engage this enemy and we will uh, evade this enemy. And I'll commit this. So I'm evading uh, six, seven versus three, three. So we need to succeed by three or more. Okay. So uh, up by up by four, and we need uh, to succeed by three or more. It is a skull. Skull is X. X is the number of enemies in the shadows. There are zero at the moment, so this enemy is discarded. So we don't need to worry about it anymore. But we are low on cards, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Next, we will move to this location. So Grand Teatro de la Habana. And it is a four-star location with one clue. And fast action during your turn, spend two resources, reduce the uh, route by two here. And that is really good because we can. We have resources for that. And that is everything. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Chuck Fergus, great. We'll gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a do, so two of six encounter card for this round is Body Snatcher. Test willpower four. If you fail, choose an ally or item asset you control and set it aside out of play as a hollow. If you cannot take two horror, well, that, that is a shame. We don't want to lose our lock picks, but we don't have anything to boost this with, so uh, we could lose the moon. I think I'm losing the moon. As, as annoying as that is, but we need the lock fix at this point. Okay, so four, uh, three versus four, minus one, we fail, so we set the moon aside as hollow. And that is it. Okay, first action will play Chuck. Second action. Uh, we'll play Intel Report as a fast, no, no, uh, uh, two times cheaper, so we'll get, grab this clue, let's see when we can advance, if we can advance at any time, I think I'm okay at advancing at this point, so we'll spend the three clues. So, pursued into the streets. So, if 
Desiderio uh, de la Alvarez story as it is in play, set him aside out of play, removing all tokens and attachments from him, find the set aside de la, de la enemy with the encountered card back, the lead investigator draws that enemy, resolving his concealed keyword. One at a time in player order, each of the investigators chooses a different set of the enemy and draws it, it uh, resolving its concealed keyword. Shuffle the encounter, scrap on the remainder of the Crimson Conspiracy, and clean up crew encounter sets into the encounter deck. Okay, so... Then, uh, false colors. So, uh, what happens is Desi gets uh, changed or, or disappears, basically. So, we'll grab the enemy version. So, the enemy version has uh, concealed one. Then we get these sets, and because we're playing solo, we don't draw any more of these enemies at random. And did we shuffle the encounter discard pile also? Yes. So, encounter discard pile. These two set aside. Encounter set, so... Now, uh, again we have a uh, resign action, you leave Desi and his crew to his fate, but uh, objective, if there are no enemies in the shadows, investigators may spend their request number, uh, requested clues to advance, and we need one clue. So I think uh, we are just uh, moving somewhere and uh, investigating. So... Giving this a good shuffle. There are a lot of enemies now in the deck, so we don't want to draw them. But can't help it if we do. Okay. So uh, we'll put Desi into the shadows. We have Desi and one decoy, so we shuffle these for a moment. And uh, we spawn one of them here and one of them to a nearby location. I, I think I'll put one in the Myanmar Yacht Club because we haven't been there, and we could go there and grab a clue, if there is any. Okay, so we'll put those there. Last action, oh yeah, let's return this here. Last action, we'll move, oh yeah, we'll move here, we don't want to reveal any. Okay, so the uh, shroud here is one. Action investigate. Instead of discovering clues, look at the revealed side of a concealed mini card at Miriam Yacht Club. For every two points you succeed, look at the revealed side of an additional concealed mini card at the Yacht Club. So that's that's good. Okay. So that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw Kicking the Hornet's Nest. And we gain a resource. So uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So three of six encounter cardies. Undercover. If there are no enemies in the shadows, undercover gain serves. Otherwise, just uh, intellect or agility four. If you fail, place a decoy at the location with the most concealed mini cards. Flip it, flip it face down and shuffle each concealed mini card at that location. Okay, we are testing five versus four agility. And it is a fail, uh, let's see. If you fail, set the each non-weakness card committed to this test aside out of players hollow. Well, we didn't place any, so that's good. But we'll get one decoy, and we'll shuffle these two. But I think we can do the investigate and see if either, either of these is Desi that we want to find. But first we want this clue from here. Okay, so first action, investigate using the Thieves Kit. Investigating 5 versus 1. Minus 1, we succeed by 2 or more, we gain 2 resources. We'll grab this clue. Uh, we'll do an investigate here and uh, 
let's do use the thief's kit even though we are not getting clues but uh and i forgot i'm getting the plus one to the skill value from the thief's kit so this is actually six versus one and it is a skull and it is a minus one because we have one enemy in the shadows we succeed so i look both of these so these both are the decoy. We need to go here and find Desi there. But I think first we'll move here to check if there is something useful to do here. So uh, five throughout one clue, victory point one. After you expose a decoy at El Malaison, uh, expose another concealed mini card at El Malaison, probe limit once per round. Okay, well. We know we need to go here, but I think we want to try and get this clue to get the victory points. And no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw Agent Fletcher. Well, hello there. So uh, we haven't seen uh, this weakness yet for Humani. So uh, alert hunter, break Humani Jones only. While Humani Jones is evading Agent Fletcher, reduce their um, intellect value to zero. Okay, so it's harder for us to defeat this guy, but it is what it is, so... And we gain a resource, so... Yeah, uh, I think we are running away from this guy, but it is what it is, we'll see how this works out. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had another doom, so uh, we are at four of six. And Count Card is uh, undercover, so. Again, uh, we'll test uh, five versus four. Minus three, we fail. We take a decoy, we take the. Uh, Concealed cards from location with most of them and shuffle them. So this doesn't affect us at all. Because we know where Desi is. Okay. And first action, we will evade Agent Fletcher. Uh, we are evading 5 versus 3. So hopefully we can get rid of this guy. Minus one, we have evaded this guy successfully, but now I'll just place it over here. Do we want to try and get this clue? I think we do. So um, we are investigating uh, six versus one. So, hoping to get, uh, we have a bunch of skulls, minus one, zeros, plus one, elder assigned, so we have some chances to get the uh, clue from here. So, a skull, and it is a minus one, so we'll grab this. And last action, we'll just leave. We can leave that guy there. So, let's move here. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. That guy already is over there. I didn't place a token on it. And we draw a card. <laughs> Another weakness. Aren't we unlucky here? And, and, and a resource also. Oh yeah, and uh, we succeeded. So we got one resource from the thief's kit. So I think I removed. So first we got one clue here with the thief's kit. Breaking and entering, uh, then the we bought the key with Intel report, so we have used two, and then there one, uh, one. Okay, so we have used the thieves kit uh, three times now, so that's correct. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so five of six encounter card for this round is. Conspiracy in red. Uh, revelation, place one doom on an enemy in the shadows. If there are no enemies in the shadows, search and counter deck a discard pile for enemy 
and shuffle the encounter deck. So this doesn't advance, so that that is great. So that doesn't affect us at all. That's basically a freebie. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, first action. We'll draw a card. Lola, mm, not useful. We draw a second card. We want to get some damage dealing cards. Dirty fighting. That that's helpful. And last action. We'll move here, so we are not at the same location as, uh, or the that guy doesn't hunt us down. And that is our whole turn. So our first turn. And we go to upkeep, no enemy actions, so we draw lucky cigarette case and gain a resource. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add a doom, we are at 7 already, so we advance. Uh, vanishing sky. The lead investigator must decide choose one search encounter deck and discard by for enemy with the concealed keyword and draw it, resolving its concealed keyword, shuffle the encounter deck. Reveal the top card of each investigator's deck. Each investigator draws each weakness they revealed in this way and set the other cards aside as hollow. I'll just put a hollow. So we lose an old key ring, which is just okay. Okay, then uh, for us, if there are four or more. Uh, cards per investigator set aside as hollow, choose and remove two of them from the game and place one doom on this agenda. That's not the problem. Then we draw an encounter card. Body snatching, test will power four. If you fail, choose an ally or item as you control and set it aside out of play as a hollow. If you cannot take uh, two horror instead, I think. Thieves Kids has served its purpose. Uh, minus two, we'll lose the Thieves Kids. And uh, that is it. So, uh, oh yeah, this guy hunted here last round, which we forgot to do. So, first action, we'll play Dirty Fighting. Second action, we'll play Lola San Santiago, because I think we want the agility boost at this moment. So, bye Chuck Fergus. And last action, we'll try to um, reveal this concealed card, so we are in it. Uh, invest or evading this card six versus four so we need to get the minus two or better and it is a skull so it is a minus one so we reveal the uh, desi so uh, we have no other enemies in the shadow so these decoys go, go away and we are engaged with desi and uh, let's see if the uh, let's see if there are no enemies in the shadows, investigators may spend the request number of clues as a group to advance. We'll do that. Truth untold. Uh, ready the desi. Uh, enemy, remove all tokens from him and discard all attachments from him. Find the previously set aside Desiderio, Delago, Alvarez story and set. Uh, flip him to his enemy side and spawn him at the same location as the one in play, randomizing them so you don't know which is which. So we flip this, we randomize these two. And uh, this doesn't matter because we have done the quid pro quo in Moscow, so we know this is past, so we can do the uh, thing we need to do next. So 
Next up, false light. Each copy of the sea gains uh, loses concealed X, loses hunter gains a loof, and gains the following ability: action parlay. Check the camp log. If the cell knows this is passed, you ask a question only he can answer. Look at the other side of uh, this enemy objective. If the e either copy of Desideria de Lago Alvarez is defeated, advance. Do not look at its other side. So now we need to defeat Desi. And uh, that is our whole turn. We can't do, do the parlay this round. And uh, yeah, these are aloof, so the they at, at least won't attack us. They are fighting each other. So let's read. So alert. Uh, retaliate. Uh, this has plus two health. So four health. When Desi takes damage during Act 1 or 2, instead automatically evade him. And uh, after Desi is evaded by two or more, and there is another copy of him at your location, that copy deals this one two damage. So we can just engage and evade, engage and evade. And defeat the correct one like that. So, uh, because in our camp log it reads uh, if the Sentinel knows this is passed, we can look at one of these cards back. So we look at this card. So this is the one we want to kill. This is the one we don't want to kill. So I'll mark this one as the real Desi. And that is that. So uh, enemy face will uh, move this guy over here. It engages us. So we have Agent Fletcher on our back also. Then uh, Agent Fletcher hits us for one damage and one horror, and we'll just put it on to Lola Santiago. And that is our turn, or that is the enemy turn. We'll go to upkeep, we draw Nimble, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a Doom, so one of six. Put a doom, not a resource. Encounter card is the Red Cloth Man. So we draw Red Cloth Man and it comes into play with this. I think we just uh, ignore this guy. So we will first. Okay, so this enemy is engaged with us also. So, oh yeah, now we need to do the parlay. So we'll do the parlay this round. So now we know that this desi is the right one. Then, mm, how do we want to do this? So. If we engage this Desi and evade, so this guy hits it for two, and we, then we can evade it again. Okay, so we'll engage. This boat hit us for uh, horror. Uh, two horror and two damage, we'll just put it on ourselves. So we engage this Desi. Then uh, we will evade. And I am committing Nimble to the test. So we are seven versus three. And we need to just uh, uh, succeed by two or more. So that... So evaded by two or more, and there are is another copy, so the other copy hits it. Okay, so we're evading this Desi. And it is a minus one. So it is evaded, but we'll engage it again. So this Desi deals this Desi two damage. And last action. We'll um, evade 
a second time. So uh, again, now, yeah, this we, we don't use the movement. So we are evading six versus three. And we just need to uh, get a minus one or better. So we succeed by two or more. So six versus, oh yeah, and we get plus two. So, okay, we uh, three, minus three or better is actually fine. Uh, skull, skull is uh, zero because no enemies in the um, shadows. So Desi gets two damage and is defeated. So yeah, this this enemy doesn't exhaust or anything. So we'll advance. So no man like me. For the remainder of the campaign, do not look at the other side of the of either copy of Desi, Derio, Delago, Alvarez, until you are instructed to do so. Find the copy of Desi that is in play uh, if both copies are in the victor display. Return one to play, so store that copy of Desi, Derio, Desi in a safe place uh, where you may refer to it later in the campaign. But because we know this is the enemy version, it doesn't matter, we don't have to mark it anyway. But we get to resolution one. So let's read that. So, um, so we recap the night's events with Desi and uh, a lot of backstory here. Basically, Desi is uh, grateful we helped to uh, defeat the enemies, and now. Uh, Desi actually tells that the, uh, there's one key at his warehouse in the uh, nearby city, which is the uh, Uber city, and tells us that the password there is Blackbird Solitaire. So uh, we record that uh, in our camp a lot that Desi is in our depth, and uh, you know the passphrase. Then we get uh, Victory Axe, and it is uh, three, so one, two, and three. And that's great. And in your camper log, uh, under time passed, find the sixth spot from the current time under the spot right, uh, a symbol. When you reach that spot on the time track, proceed to status report theta. So that is the symbol in the status report section of the campaign guide. If there is a fewer than six times remaining on the times pa past, write uh, theta under the final spot instead. But and then uh, there's a reminder to not, lo not look at the desi at the cleanup. Then we mark two times. So first we mark uh, the mark at uh, six times from now, which is uh, 21 times spent. Then uh, we advance two, so we have spent 17 time now. And <laughs> of course, I forgot to use this, but we were uh, evading at the uh, six agility all, all time with Lola. So that's great. So we got a win from this scenario. That's that's really good. And uh, next time uh, we'll see where we head head to after this, but. Uh, I think we need to backtrack at some point to Uber City to go grab one um, key from there, from uh, Desi's warehouse. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.